income housing is not only beginning to be a real problem in the United States, but everyone is starting to see symptoms of it. And Los Angeles is a prime example of that. Now, homelessness has gotten so bad in the US that we are seeing more and more RVs or mobile homes popping up on streets. And as a result, businesses and residents are calling tow companies or the city to have these RVs impounded because they're taking up a lot of space and in a lot of cases, they're not in great condition. Now, according to the Los Angeles Homeless Services Authority, 2,363 people across the city live in motor homes. That's a 20% increase from 2016. And to make the problem worse, the city had contracts with three towing companies that specialized in impounding large or heavy vehicles. And in this case, it turns out the two of them have decided to stop doing business with the city because of how terrible these RVs are. and how terrible the condition of these RVs are. So the contractors say that the campers and RVs are often so dilapidated or damaged that they're in danger of falling apart while being towed. The vehicles frequently contain overflowing or leaking sewer tanks and can come with pests such as fleas, ticks, mice, and rats. Now, the only company that's still impounding these RVs is Pepe's Towing, and they said that the conditions of these RVs are so bad that they've had to basically bomb for fleas every Sunday. Yeah. Okay, so, and it's gonna get worse. It's gonna get much worse. So you have RV encampments, and then you also have the tent encampments, which used to be you know, unique to Skid Row, but they're also popping up throughout Los Angeles in areas that you hadn't seen them before. Also, the city of Los Angeles impounded approximately 1,000 motorhomes and trailers in 2016, but only about half of them were claimed. People who are living in their RVs usually don't have the resources to go pay to get them out of the impound lot. Mm-hmm. So these companies are like, why are we gonna impound these vehicles if we're not gonna be able to recoup the costs? So I wish somebody had warned me about the housing problem in LA. Look, I'm bringing this up because it's gonna continue to become more and more of a problem, right? So for those of you who are lucky enough to afford rent or afford buying a property, consider the fact that even if you live in the nicest neighborhoods, all of a sudden you're gonna start noticing you know, an ever-growing homeless population. And I say that as someone who you know grew up in the San Fernando Valley, very rare to see homeless people in the valley. It's a suburban area of Los Angeles. And now all of a sudden you see homeless people sleeping on the sidewalks pretty much you know, everywhere, every single part of the San Fernando Valley. Same of really nice places like West Hollywood. West Hollywood used to have some homeless people. Now there's a ton of homeless people. And it's gonna continue getting worse. And just to show you how big of a problem this is, not just in Los Angeles, but nationwide. There was a study done to look at the lack of affordable housing in the US. This was done by the National Low Income Housing Coalition. And the reports have shown that the minimum housing wage is rising year over year. The organization defines a housing wage as a full time earnings per hour needed to rent, rent, not buy an affordable home. Uh, This year, they found that the national housing wage is $21.21 per hour for a two bedroom rental home, nearly three times higher than the federal minimum wage, which is $7.25 per hour. And so a lot of times people will say, well, if you're living in a big city and it's expensive, just move to a city that's not expensive, where, where housing is a lot cheaper. But that means that you not only have to relocate to find a home, you also need to find a new job. And oftentimes the jobs in those areas don't even pay enough for you to afford the housing there. So again, this is continuing to be more and more of a problem. No one's really coming up with solutions and anyone who has the audacity to bring up the issue gets brushed aside as someone who's just whining and spoiled. Yeah, I don't think those folks in the RVs are spoiled. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, you talk about the fleas, etc. That the whole point there is, uh, look at the dire straits that they're in. And so, things have gotten bad for a lot of folks, and it's a combination of factors. It's not just that housing is expensive; it's also that, also that we don't make nearly enough money. The median wages have flatlined in this country mm-hmm. for decade after decade. By the way, productivity has not. And so the difference is about $12 trillion between productivity and wages. And that went, that got redistributed to the top. And so 
Now there are consequences to that and I guess some folks are thrilled like I bought off a politician and I got lower taxes and now I have a larger mansion. But when your mansion is surrounded by RVs of people who are in dire straits because they're making minimum wage that's still $7.25, that's unbelievable in LA that's higher but that's the nationwide one and it is that is miserably low, it has not kept up with inflation or productivity or any of those factors. Then this is what happens, and then you're beginning to get two different Americas. Mm -hmm. And we, I know, we already have a two justice, two tier justice system, and now, now we have this. So even if you don't care about anybody else and you have no empathy for them, it's going to affect you too. It will absolutely help us build independent media. Become a member of the Young Turks. Tytnetwork.com/join.